Hello everyone, this video explains the movement of the ship's center of gravity and its effect on the initial metacentric height known as GM, and its vertical distance from the keel known as KG when a weight is loaded, discharged, or shifted on board. Understanding the movement of a ship's center of gravity is critical for ensuring the vessel's stability, safety, and compliance with international regulations. The calculation of kg and initial metacentric height known as gm are not included in this video. I made a separate video on this which is divided into three parts. Kindly check the link in the description. Let us start. If this is the ship's transverse section and this is the centerline. The center of gravity of a ship is usually denoted by capital letter G and it is the point at which the total weight force of the ship is considered to act vertically downward. It is typically expressed in terms of its vertical position above the keel known as KG and is a fundamental parameter in ship stability calculations. Below G is the ship's center of buoyancy denoted as capital letter B. And metacenter is denoted as capital letter M. The ship's center of gravity is essential for determining its stability characteristics, such as metacentric height known as GM, or the vertical distance from the ship's center of gravity to the metacenter, which influences its ability to resist rolling and capsizing. The location of the ship's center of gravity in relation to the metacenter denoted as capital letter M affects the ship's stability. If G is below M, the ship is stable. If G is above M, the ship is unstable and prone to capsizing. The ship's center of gravity is a critical parameter in ensuring safe and stable navigation at sea. Its position affects a ship's ability to handle rough seas and maintain an upright position. It can be calculated through various methods, including inclining experiments when the ship is in lightweight conditions. Let us start with the effect of shifting a weight that is already on board. In this example, we are dealing with single weight problem. If this is the ship's transverse section, and let us assume that the ship's center of gravity or G will be here along the centerline. A weight or cargo from the lower hold will be shifted on the main deck, just above the initial position of the weight being shifted. Then, the ship's center of gravity will move parallel and in the same direction as the shift of the center of gravity of the weight. Let us label the center of gravity of the weight or cargo as a small letter G. So it means that from the initial position of G, it will move upward, and let us assume that the new G will be here and marked as G and a small letter V or GV. You can mark the new position of your G as G1, but for now, I will mark it as GV to emphasize the vertical shift of G. In this case, there will be an increase in KG and a decrease in GM since our metacenter is above G. On the other hand, if a weight is shifted from the main deck to the lower hold, G will move downward in parallel and in the same direction as the shift of the center of gravity of the weight being shifted. In this case, our KG will decrease and an increase in GM since our metacenter is above G. For the effect of a ship's center of gravity when loading or adding a weight. If this is the ship's transverse section, and let us assume that the ship's center of gravity will be here, along the centerline. If a weight will be loaded on the main deck, with a weight center of gravity here, marked as a dot and labeled small g. The ship's center of gravity or G, will move directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. Let us assume that the new ship's center of gravity or G will be here, and marked G1. If you observed in this example, there are two movements of G. The vertical shift, which is from G to GV, and the other movement is the horizontal shift, from G to GH. But in this particular scenario, we will only consider the vertical shift which is the GGV, since our concern is only KG. For the horizontal movement of G, it will be discussed in another video which is the topic of list or ship's listing. So in this case, the effect will be an increase in KG and a decrease in initial metacentric height or GM. The next scenario will be the loading of a weight in the lower hold. 
Let us assume that the ship's center of gravity is here before loading a weight. Then a weight is loaded into the lower hold, in which the weight center of gravity is here, marked as a dot, and labeled small g. So the ship center of gravity will move directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. We will assume that the new g will be here marked as g1 after loading. And the vertical shift of g will be here, marked as gv. The horizontal movement of g is not our concern in this scenario since we are dealing with the vertical movement of the ship center of gravity or kg. So in this case, the effect will be a decrease in final kg and an increase in the initial metacentric height or gm. Next scenario will be. We will fill in or pump in ballast water in the ship's wing tank. If this is the ship's wing tank, we fill in this one with ballast water. We will assume that the tank center of gravity when full of ballast water will be here, marked as a dot and labeled small g. So the ship center of gravity will move directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. We will assume that the new g will be here marked as g1, after filling in ballast water. And the vertical shift of g will be here, marked as gv. So in this case, the effect will be an increase in kg and a decrease in the initial metacentric height or gm. To find the kg or vcg of the weight inside the tank, you can refer at the ship's sounding table. I will make a separate video on how to use the ship's sounding table, kindly check the link below. Next scenario for the effect of ship's g, when adding a weight is by filling in or pumping in water ballast in the double bottom tank. If this is the ship's double bottom tank, if we fill this with water ballast, and the center of gravity of the tank is here, marked as a dot and labeled small g. The ship's center of gravity will move directly towards the center of gravity of the weight being loaded. We will assume that the new g will be here marked as g1, after pumping in ballast water. And the vertical shift of g will be here, marked as gv. So in this case, the effect will be a decrease in kg and an increase in the initial metacentric height or gm. Again, to find the kg or vcg of the liquid inside the tank, you can refer it to ship's sounding table. We will now proceed to the effect of the ship's center of gravity when discharging a weight. If this is the ship's transverse section, and let us assume that the ship's center of gravity will be here, along the centerline. If a weight will be discharged in the main deck, with a weight center of gravity here, marked as a dot and labeled small g. The ship center of gravity or g, will move directly away from the center of gravity of the weight being discharged. So from ship's g, it will move away from the weight being discharged. Let us assume that the new ship center of gravity or g after discharging a weight will be here, marked as a dot and labeled g1. If you observed in this example, there are two movements of G. The vertical shift, which is from G to GV, and the other movement is the horizontal shift, from G to GH. But in this particular scenario, we will only consider the vertical shift which is the GGV, since our concern is only KG. So in this case, the effect will be a decrease in final KG, and an increase in the initial metacentric height or GM. The next scenario will be the pumping out or discharging of ballast water from the double bottom tank. If this is the ship's double bottom tank, and we will discharge ballast water from this tank. The tank center of gravity is here when full of water, marked as dot and labeled small g. After pumping out the ballast, the ship's center of gravity or g will move away from the weight being discharged. We will assume that the new g will be here mark as a dot and labeled G1. And we will assume that the vertical shift of G to GV will be here, marked as a dot and labeled GV. So the effect will be an increase in KG and a decrease in initial metacentric height or GM. That's all guys, and thank you for watching.